Hi guys. Hey fam. Okay. <laughs> My name is Yomara and I work at CORE. Most of you know me. If you don't, nice to meet you. Um, Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial following alongside my coworkers who've already done tutorials and did a great job at them. I'm just trying to keep up. So today I'm going to be doing my braided space buns tutorial. And now space buns you may think is for like little girls or funky teenagers. But I promise you anybody could rock a space bun with the right spice in their attitude. Okay. It could be seven you could be 17 you could be 27 or 77 for all i care you could rock it i promise you so we're gonna do a little universal look i like to wait for the the dirty hair day for my space buns right because when you have a good hair day you want your hair down and like pretending the wind is in front of you blowing so today i'm just going to be trying to hide it that's essentially what my space buns are usually for it's on a dirty hair day and i'm trying to hide the flatness. So what we're gonna need are tail comb. You're gonna need some elastics. I like the dark ones because they match my root and they have a little more grip to them. So you're gonna have, um, it's gonna hold better. I'm gonna be using Evo's Haze. How do people do this? <laughs> Haze. It's a puff powder. Let's get some in there while I'm here. It's basically to just kind of soak up the oils that we already have, right? That's one of the great products of Evo. Abby pins, which are close tight together, and hair pins, which are the open ones, right? Let's take this bad boy out again. So this is a very white powder. So I would, you don't want to hold it right here. That's too concentrated. You need to give yourself a little distance and pop it in. Take a section, pop it in, pop it in. And then I always like to do it in the back because this is where I'm the flattest. So I'm gonna do it underneath and on top. And then you're gonna flip over. And flip back out. I just needed it to, you could see already like how much less oils, how less oily my hair looks. And the good part about it is that you get a little more lift and a grit which you're gonna need when you have such fine hair and you're trying to make a space bun. Besides the tees that we're gonna do, you need a little grit to help you make it nice and round because obviously we don't have the luxury like those you lucky, lucky individuals with so much hair. <laughs> so Heather did this in her tutorial and I'm gonna follow alongside, it's my trick as well. Um, I like to follow the top of my eyebrow. She chose the end of or the middle, middle. Follow your eyebrows. So I like to take them from the same spot and kind of do like a U shape to also get it all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because this is a mess messy hair day. This is not like you're going to the ball, okay? Just make sure that they're even. And normally you would, you know, tie the top, but I actually am gonna use my handy dandy um, brace, what is this called? You guys know what it is. <laughs> and tie the bottom half because I don't want it to get in the way while I'm braiding. Tail comb, and then we're gonna try to make a nice straight line. Okay, that didn't work. Pause, let me look at my mirror. That's better. Okay, I look crazy. So, what we're gonna do is, I like to just take one side and kind of wrap it around so it doesn't get in the way. And this side we're gonna braid first. This is the hardest part. Definitely for those of you who can't braid yourselves, go on YouTube. That is how I learned. It is the easiest way to learn how to braid backwards. Okay, so after you get your braid down, right? You're gonna take the rubber band, put it between your two fingers and just do one to two times around depending on how much hair you have. Right, done, beautiful. Now our second side. So the next thing we're gonna do, you can now let out the rest of your hair and basically just tuck to make sure you like how it looks up front, that the hair is even, that you feel like this is enough. If you wanted to pull up more and that's what you're more comfortable with, by all means, this is something you can make your own. This is not something that is a strict set of rules, right? And your braids are not going to come out the same on each side either. Probably not, right? Like, I think this is a better braid, but you know what? Not bad. So then what you're going to do is, although this is a cute look, just saying. 
bringing it back to Brittany, circa 2000. And Heather did this in her tutorial too, and she's gonna back home. We're just gonna tease, right? Just to give it some grit and to make our hair a little fluffier, so that way we have like a wider space bun, a more circular space bun. And then you're gonna take one side and you're gonna use your fingers as bases, like as foundations to twirl it around, right? So I'm gonna start going this way. I like to hold my finger here and then bring it around town. Right? And then you're gonna take a bobby pin, which is the tight one, and you're gonna use it to hold in those ends that you just wrapped around. The ends need the bobby pin, they need to be held tighter, whereas like you still want a voluminous, fat kind of space bun so everything else in the back could use a hair pin because you're not trying to make it tighter or smaller you're just trying to uh, secure it so here we are and you could definitely recurl your hair I'm in quarantine, I don't need to recurl my hair. But <laughs> if you were going out with your friends, whatever the case may be, curl it again, make it straight. I wear it straight a lot more often just because I have less, like I'm dirtier usually quicker when my hair is straight. Style your ends the way you would like them to. You see that it doesn't look as dirty as it did when you first saw me in the video. And that is definitely due to the haze just soaking up some of those oils. Here are your space buns. By all means, take some hairspray. Thanks for watching, guys.